is Priya Tukrar and I am a systems engineer on the Apache program. The NPADS Pimbus is a pilotage and targeting system that sits on the nose of the Apache helicopter. Building on the legacy system which was fielded in 1984, MTADS Penvis allows pilots to fly and ID targets day or night. This modernized system has been combat proven by the U.S. Army and international customers since first equipped in 2005. We have put in place a rigorous ongoing modernization program that not only advances the most current electro-optic technology available, but also addresses readiness improvements and mission capability. A unique feature of the Apache helicopter is that the targeting and pilotage systems can be used simultaneously. We designed the targeting and pilotage systems to operate independently, allowing the pilot to safely fly and navigate using m -Penvis, while the co-pilot is operating m to acquire and engage threats. Operating these systems simultaneously is something no other attack helicopter can do. The m -Penvis is a long-wave, high-definition, forward-looking infrared sensor with a 52-degree field of view. It provides imagery in the cockpit and on both pilots' helmet-mounted displays. This increases operational effectiveness at night and in poor visibility conditions, as well as improves the air crew's overall situational awareness. The m -Penvis follows the pilot's head movements during their scan of the flight path and can also be shared with a co-pilot when required for pilotage. The m -Penvis includes an electronic image intensified television, or EI squared TV, which is a low light level near infrared camera that amplifies visible and near infrared light, allowing the pilot to see cultural lighting and lasers. The image can be displayed in either standalone mode or in a FLIR blending mode, combining the two images into one. The EI squared TV enhances the pilot's situational awareness and improves crew safety by providing an additional pilotage sensor. The modular design of m -Penvis simplifies field maintenance and facilitates flight line maintenance while improving system reliability and affordability. The targeting system is divided into two parts. The MNSA, which is the Modernized Night Sensor Assembly, and the MDSA, which is the Modernized Day Sensor Assembly. The MNSA has three increasingly magnified optical fields of view and an additional electronic zoom, which allows pilots to detect, recognize, and identify targets at long ranges. It also has a wide field of view, giving the pilot a secondary pilotage system if necessary. The MNSA allows pilots to effectively engage targets at night and in poor visibility. The modular design permits flight line maintenance, a smaller logistics footprint, improved reliability, built-in testing, and commonality of parts and support tooling, reducing inventory levels and improving repair turnaround times. The MDSA delivers high-resolution images in near-infrared and color inside the cockpit. A color display would help the co-pilot gunman to recognize uh, colored targets. So for example, if there is a, a red truck, um, they would be, be able to identify the red truck rather than just a truck out of maybe 15 trucks in the fleet. To maximize performance, the TADS electronic display and control delivers a 5x5-inch ultra-resolution ruggedized color display for target detection and recognition. Pilots can quickly and accurately identify targets at longer ranges using XR, our extended range picture-in-picture -picture capability. XR enables a larger magnification and clearer view of targets with the addition of image enhancement algorithms. This enables longer standoff ranges for safety while optimizing on-station mission operations. MDSA incorporates an ultra-narrow field of view and matches MNSA's narrow and medium modes. The pilot is now able to see civilian and military lighting on a single display. MDSA also provides a new laser pointer marker that improves coordination with ground units and an updated multi-mode laser with iSafe lasing capability. iSafe lasers are extremely useful for flight in urban environments and for training exercises at home station. Current development activity includes the high reliability turret, which is the interface between the MTADS Penvis and the Apache. It houses the sensors and motors that drive the azimuth and elevation movement of the sensors. The High Reliability Turret Program is a development program at Lockheed Martin. Some of its capabilities include increased slew rates and decreased vibrations on the Apache aircraft. On today's legacy turret, a failure requires the entire turret to be removed for repair. The modernized High Reliability Turret allows for individual line replaceable modules to be removed and replaced on the flight line, dramatically reducing maintenance costs and improving operational readiness. 
The high reliability turret improves the reliability and maintainability of the entire MTAD's PENVIS system and is projected to save the U.S. Army more than $500 million in operation and support costs over the life of the system. MTAD's PENVIS has demonstrated superior performance in combat during adverse weather, day and night, desert, high-altitude mountainous, and maritime environments. The infrared scanning system was designed for optimal performance in harsh battlefield conditions and lower altitudes in which the AH-64 Apache routinely operates. The modernization of the TADS PENVIS makes our system more reliable, easily maintainable, and more affordable by significantly increasing improvements while reducing life cycle costs. We continue to invest in innovation and deliver quality products to our customers always striving to keep our soldiers safe. I had the opportunity to go on a flight test recently for one of the modernized programs we're doing for the MTAD's PINVIS system. Afterwards, I had the chance to talk to one of the pilots who was very much interested and very enthusiastic about our system, calling it a game changer. Hearing that from the pilot made me swell with pride and it made me realize that what I do really does matter to the warfighter. I am proud to be working on the Apache program and I am even more proud to be working for Lockheed Martin.